What's up, guys? It makes me Bob's here. I wanted to talk to, just for a second, all of the black men that follow me. I'm not sure how many, but I'm at work right now, as you can see. Uh, I'm a welder. Uh, that's what I do. But I just want to talk to you guys just for a second. You know, I try not to bring up race uh, a lot. I try not to use that as a crutch or use that as a means of why I can't get ahead or, or the, a lack of accountability, right? As, as some people do. But I feel as though as a black man, you know, if you're not, if you're not a ball player, if you're not a rapper, you know, if you didn't get rich or, you know, by selling drugs or something like that, it kind of feels like your counterpart judges you differently. I say that to say, you guys know I've, I live in Texas now. I used to live in Louisiana, but I live in Texas and West Texas. And, and you, you guys can probably see by my channel, I'm non-traditional, but I don't, besides at work, I don't really look the part of what a welder would be. You know, especially as a black man, I just don't, I don't just fit that stereotype. Man. There's been three times now. I just find it interesting. There's been three times now where I've been out at a bar uh, with a couple friends, or I've been at a movie theater, or I've just been out to eat. And I get to talking to another dude, whether he's Hispanic, whether he's white. Uh, there's not many black people where I live. So I can understand at the same time, but you know, the other day I had went out and I was wearing, uh, I was wearing my spike uh, bracelet and out on my chain and uh, things like that on my beanie, my other beanie or whatever. And I was talking to one of these guys at the bar and, you know, uh, my friend was talking to his wife or whatever. But anyway, he was like, so what do you do? And I said, I was gonna ask you the same thing. He said, oh, I'm a welder. I said, huh, that's funny. He said, how so? I said, I'm a welder too, for the oil industry. You should have seen this man's eyes. He legitimately looked, he was like, really? Wow. And it almost felt condescending, you know what I mean? Because like I get it, we go off appearances, but I was like, yeah. I was like, is that shocking? He was just like, yeah. I mean, I, I, he got kind of got baffled. He was like, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, that's that's. I think that's cool, you know. Um, but I just started laughing. But I, I kind of felt like, again, if you're not, if people see you have your life together, like right now, again, I'm welding for the oil industry and I'm comfortable, right? 25 and stuff, you know. People see that, and they see that I'm able to provide for myself, or wondering how I'm traveling and things. People automatically assume that either I got it through selling drugs, or maybe one of my family members have it. They can't, and I'm not trying to bring race, but, but some of these white guys, I'm just gonna call it for what it is, they can't fathom the, the idea that you might be either on the same level as them or ahead of them because we got to talking and he was like oh I'm not trying to get in your business but he really was he was like how much how much did you make at your company because I told him where I worked and stuff he was like oh oh he made that he said it again he was like oh and he was like I said well, what about you he was like I'm, I'm up under it. I'm at this. And I was like, I was like, okay, cool. He said, so we kind of on a similar boat. I was like, yeah, okay. 
Um, but I could tell in his brain, like, he couldn't fathom that. He was like, hmm. Like, it was like, hmm, okay. Wow, like, they're paying you that? You know, it's just... And I understand. I'm, again, I'm not saying this racism or anything like that. It's just, it's again, like a third time I've talked with somebody out here. And just because I don't look the certain part, they automatically assume I must be working at Starbucks. No disrespect to anybody working at Starbucks. I used to work at Starbucks. But that's how they see me. You know, they, they can't uh, imagine. I apologize if it's loud. But they can't imagine that I'm on the same level, level or um, more than them. You know, um, so as far as the black guys that are watching my channel, you know, I just want you to stay strong, man. Just stay in there. You know what I mean? Keep, you know, keep your head up. Keep going forward. You know, despite any looks that people give you, despite what they assume that you do or don't do. You know what I mean? We don't always have to be ball players. We don't always have to fit the stereotype and sell drugs. I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. I'm not judging it. I'm saying we can be in the corporate space. We can have a trade. We can be an electrician, a welder, a plumber. You know what I mean? Uh, a mechanic. You know what I mean? We can work on aircraft. We can do different things and not be within this box that they feel like we have to be in. We don't have to be these things in order to be successful. We don't have to have millions of dollars in order to be successful. We can have a trade, whether we own our own business or not, and still still working nine to five, still work 12 hour shifts, whatever, and still be successful. Don't let anybody discourage you and make you feel like, oh, if you're not these three things, I know social, we look at social media and we feel like, oh man, they get millions, they this, they that, they that. No, you do not have to be that as a black man to be successful. And quite frankly, I, I found this out about two weeks ago. It's about if you discount like the, the owners of the company and like the quality manager um, and like the secretary, it's like eight eight guys that work in my shop with me, and I'm the third highest paying. And I've only been here since um, since August, and other guys have been here 18, 20, 24 years. You know what I mean. And I'm the third highest paying. I just, I say that to say, they they need my skill set, right? So I'm just letting you know, you know, as a black man, that you don't have to be these things. And I know it's like common sense. You hear it all the time, but sometimes we get sidetracked in and we feel like we're not worth anything or we don't have any uh, value if we're not these certain things. I don't want to let you know, live in proof. It's like my dad was a construction worker. My grandpa's a construction worker. They both had their own businesses. Uh, matter of fact, my grandfather now, he's 87. Um, he's going to be 88 this year. He still has his construction business. He let other guys do the work. You know, he's the owner, CEO. He does all the bidding. They do the work. But he, he does that. And, you know, that entrepreneurship is, is within me. So I'll, I'll probably have my own business as far as welding or something like that trade-wise one day but for the time being I just I just want to encourage you guys to get a trade man or you know whatever you want to do whether it's photography any type of art just don't feel like you have to be a celebrity a ball player a rapper you have to be something big like that to be successful in life because you don't you don't um someone you know and this is kind of off topic but someone that's making let's say a hundred thousand a year but they have a wife family kid they got two kids they got a couple dogs they got three cars of course a hundred k they might have two hundred a hundred dollars left over at the end of the month to kind of do whatever especially if the wife is a stay-at-home mom but a single guy not saying this is what i make i'm just i'm not projecting i'm just saying a single guy making 40, 50K, depending on where you live, be do great for itself. You know what I mean? I have money left over, especially if he doesn't have a lot of bills or he's single and he doesn't have these other responsibilities. So, again, man, just keep your head up, you know, um, and don't feel like we have to do these things because you can be successful and success is what you make it. As cliche as that sounds, 
whatever you deem to be successful for your life is. And don't let anybody tell you different. So I love you. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I apologize if it's loud and you can't hear me. I got to get back to work. Um, it makes me out. Peace.